Hello, it's Dave here from Megapoints Controllers. A few months back we talked about bicolour LEDs and how you might hook them up to a multi-panel. It involved hooking up a, an LED expansion board via the LED2 socket and in the example I gave I showed these three uh, legged bicolour LEDs as a method of hooking up and getting different colours. Um, then I went quiet on the subject. And there's a reason for that. Uh, I was holding off from finishing this off because I thought there is a better way of doing it. And the better way of doing it, in my opinion, <clears throat> is to use these bicolour compound LEDs that have two pins. <clears throat> and the way these work is you run the current one way or the other and you get a different colour. So when it comes to wiring, it looks slightly simpler and probably uh, more intuitive. So you take a pair of these LEDs together. Now I'm going to resist calling the pins anode and cathode because they work in both directions. But what you effectively do is hook a pair up back to back the opposite way round. So where I might have the long pin in the center, I would attach that again to the long pin like so. And then I would connect the power, which I would reverse the polarity to, on either of the other pins. Also including the um, a suitable current limiting the resistor. I tend to use a 1K um, because I want to indicate, not light the whole room up. The way these connect is to use, again, an LED expansion board connected to the LED2 socket on the multi-panel. But because now we have only two leads, we run one from the top connected in series with the second compound bicolor LED reversed and then into the LED expansion board. So when current flows this way, it might go through the red at the top and the green at the bottom. But when we reverse it, then it might flow this way through the red at the bottom and the green at the top. To give you an example, uh, to show you how this works, here's a bicolor LED and I've attached a resistor, a 1K resistor to it. So if I zoom in, we can see it operate. So what I have here is a five volt power source taken in this case from the multi-panel. And let's see if we can focus this, there we go. So if I connect it one way round, we have red showing. Come on, focus, there's the red light. And if I pull it out and reverse it, you can now see we have the green showing. So it is a compound bicolor LED because both of the LEDs are inside the same housing. And anode and cathode, I don't know. Um, you can put current through it either way and it works just fine. Now, one of the reasons for delaying on this is I've been trying to have my cable supplier make some cables up for me with bicolor LEDs and so far it's proven more difficult than I had hoped. There's still hope and it still may happen and I may be able to stop them at one point but right now we're just um, well I'm just soldering up individual ones for testing. So here's a pair wired back to back. I have the resistor on one side and a pair of leads on the other. So if I bring on a multi-panel and an LED expansion board, let's try and get these in the shot. There we go. So I have the LED expansion board connected to the LED2 connector. This is my power connector here to, to power it. And what I'm going to do is plug one of these into the center pin on channel one and the other one into the center pin on the expansion board of channel one. And you can see now they're both illuminated, red and green. So I've got red on the left and if I toggle the switch, you'll see they both flash. And now I have green on the left and red on the right. The beauty of this with the compound LED is that I can swing a pair of LEDs at the same time. So let's see how that looks on a panel. So let's take one of my test panels, hook it up to a switch. Let's make it so that it's visible. Try and get everything in. OK, 
connect the switch. So I've got a button to press. Plug in the LEDs. These are three mil LEDs. One and two. There we go. Let me turn the big light off. There we go, maybe that's more visible now. So as I press the button, we have the red on the top, the green on the bottom, and now they're flashing, and I now have the green on the top and the red on the bottom, which I hope is obvious which way the, the stock would run. Now, um, personally, I prefer on and off, because I think it's easier for me to glance and see something that's on or off, rather than what color it is. But there may be instances where you're, uh, operating a semaphore maybe or uh, wanting to operate a magnet or something and this is more more beneficial to you so we haven't finished with bicolor leds yet i just wanted to report the uh, the progress we have so far on the subject of the infrared opto detectors i uh, showed last week we've had quite a lot of feedback i do have plenty on order and as soon as they arrive they'll be in the shop but i'm not quite done playing with these yet I showed you the detectors working on a 7mm test track um, and they do work rather well. I hadn't bothered to adjust them in any way, they just worked out of the box. But I thought it would be prudent to have a little play with my N-Gage um, test track as well. So I've made a start on this and I'm hoping by next week to be able to show it to you. What I'm going to do is I've taken one of these, um, these little sort of cigar type boxes from eBay and um, I'm going to add a little mimic diagram this is one I, I drew earlier on uh, drop in some LEDs where uh, where I've marked them and use this to display the feedback information from the opto sensors and with my track what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount some underneath and through the track to see how that works and I expect it to work rather well and for others, I'm going to mount them alongside the track, maybe in the center, like so, so that we can aim them at the track and see how it registers the uh, the stock and as, as they roll past this way as well. Um, I just want to kick the flexibility of these a little more and see how they do, so hopefully I'll have some more to show you next week when I have my little, um, my little mock-up working. I don't have access to the lasers here to do a to do a super smart job, so it's going to be uh, me, the Black and Decker drill, and um, a little bit of paper, and maybe some smoke and mirrors as well. So uh, hopefully I'll have more on that next week. Thanks for watching.